Hey guys, so a couple of our patrons have been enjoying the weekly updates from next door to the old farmhouse. So lots of sitting around in trucks went on this week as well. This time he parked the truck right on the corner with a little bit of the truck hanging out onto the, onto the single lane road, which would probably be the most inconvenient place to park that truck where it's going to inconvenience the most number of people. And then he sat there and played with his phone for a couple of hours. <laughs> so as you can see, not a lot's happening. It hasn't really progressed much over the last couple of weeks. And then the concrete truck turned up another day and these guys poured some concrete. So they're actually concreting a step onto each of the four houses and also concreting the Genkan. So the standard design in these houses is to have a concrete Genkan that is then tiled. So it's sort of a wet area basically. You can come in with wet shoes and things. And then you step up from the Genkan onto a wooden floor that runs through the rest of the house. So the wooden floor is laid on top of that little wall you can see. Oh yeah, how clean is this concrete truck? So every, every time this guy brought his concrete truck to the next house, he kept moving it up the street. He'd get out his little cloth there and as the, as the barrel turned, he'd give it a clean. So as you can see, there's sort of two guys working this day, but really... Just one and a half. The guy at the helmet was doing most of the work and the other guy seemed to be his boss and he was just sort of faffing around. So very slow progress. We're into almost four months on the job and we're still just looking at concrete base, basically. So they finished that. So you can see that's the front step. You step up through the door into the Genkan. That'll have tile on it. And that seems to be some sort of closet there or something. And they'll probably step off to the right into that room, which will be sort of a family room or lounge room sort of thing. So ground floor is just going to have a lounge kitchen with a little sort of a breakfast room, dining room combined, and a bathroom and a laundry. And that'll be it on the ground floor. So here's, here's the pictures. I put this up this week as well. As predicted, everything's gone exactly as we predicted, hasn't it? Four boxes. So just to make them a little bit interesting, they slightly alter each design and, and two shades of brown and two shades of cream. <laughs> Basically four boxes, right? As predicted, no surprises so far. Oh yes, everyone's got to have a stop and have a look at that. So that's the new picture with the showing you the house. Everybody's got to have a stop and have a look at that. Oh yeah, so some of you remember the back of these new houses, when they demolished the old house, they took out the, the gutter that ran down the back and took water from our house and the neighbor's house and that other house you can see over there. And we told them at the time, that is really important when we get heavy rain. And they didn't listen. They just removed that drain. And then that resulted in them having to, to put a new drain at our place. And then that other house over there, when it rained, the house to the right of the picture here, when it rained really heavily this week, the backyard, their backyard flooded, as we predicted, because all the rainwater went there. So that drain's gone. They took that away. And it turned out it didn't belong to them anyway. It belonged to the house on the right there. So now these guys have to run drainage right across the back of that house and around the side. They had six guys working there for about three days, digging it all up right across the back, right down the side, right down to the street, and putting in a new drainage system to take the water away, as we predicted. We tried to tell them. Four months ago, we stood on the corner there and told them exactly what was going to happen. That's the lowest point that's going to flood, and they didn't listen. So it must have cost them thousands of dollars. Six guys for a few days faffing around. Cost a fortune, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's not our problem, is it? <laughs> Just entertainment for us, basically. So then this truck turned up. This is guttering. This is street guttering. Imagine it up the other way, of course, right? So it's interesting because it's always standard designs. It's always the same. The design of the houses, the layout of the blocks, the, the way they do the street, everything's exactly the same. There's no variety. There's no second way that it's sometimes done. It's always done the same way. So 
they'll dig a channel down the left hand side of the street as we're looking at it and they'll lay those up the other way of course as a as a stormwater drain take the water away and then they'll put concrete blocks on top with sort of grooves in them to allow the water through which the end result this the upside of that for us is going to be that our street is going to become a little wider down here because it used to have a brick wall right up to the edge there it's only only one lane still but once they dig that up and put that channel down it's going to make it a little bit wider than it was still only wide enough for one car but a little bit more a little bit wider than it was it's a mess at the moment because it's been raining there's mud everywhere and the surveyors came so those of you who have been keeping keeping track how many times has this street been surveyed has as the, see the red pegs beside that guy they were already there probably what five or six times so far the surveyors have come and put in the red pegs including two different guys who put it in different places so anyway we're looking again at what we can do to deter people from buying the new houses so we've had a couple of ideas there was the borat idea and the dangerous snake idea what about this idea can you see what that says there if we put up some tape across the boundary between this place and our place that says <laughs> crime scene do not cross <laughs> we just string that up between their place and our place and just leave it there and don't say anything what do you think <laughs> do you think it might make it harder for them to sell their place <laughs> oh that's a terrible thing that's a negative attitude isn't it <laughs> but it's a giggle anyway there's that more videos coming soon.